From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. Hang gliding and a minute with Carlo Ponti. Hello, I'm Darren Johnson, and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Ann Batson. Hand gliding is a thrilling sport. Reporter Angelique Santiago takes us to the skies as she shows us more. Have you ever wanted to fly off the mountain and actually live to tell a tale? Well, here at Andy Jackson Air Park, they do it every day. It's called hang gliding. A veteran hang glider, Ron McKenzie, tells us more about this hair-raising adventure. For all those who don't know, how exactly does one hang glide? Well, one has to have a hang glider and either uh, a mountain to fly from or there's methods of launching by uh, towing with a rope. Uh, the primary consideration is air movement. That's the wind. Uh, we want, generally, uh, if you're flying off a mountain, you want the wind up the slope, not cross or over the back of the hill. You want movement uphill. And that, that allows you to uh, reduce how much running you have to do on the takeoff, because we run down the slope. So with the headwind, it reduces uh, how much speed. Like, for example, we need to go 20 miles an hour airspeed. So if the wind was blowing 20 uphill, you could just stand there. And by the time you take one step, you're flying. If there was no wind, you'd have to run down the hill at 20 miles an hour. I'm sure it's safer than what some people believe, and maybe it's more dangerous than what others believe. Um, I mean, you could, there are statistics, but it takes a lot of flying. There, there might be a fatality in every 100,000 flights. It's a long time. So if you're looking for something different, something interesting, maybe something new, hang gliding might just be for you. For Local Matters, I'm Angelique Santiago. In our A Minute With segment, reporter Pepper Parker speaks with conductor Carlo Ponti about programming at the San Bernardino Symphony Orchestra. Thank you for watching this episode of A Minute With. I'm Pepper Parker, and today we will be speaking to Mr. Carlo Ponti, who is the music director of the San Bernardino Symphony Orchestra. How are you doing today, sir? Fine. Thanks for joining us. Thank Can you. you give me some highlights of your 2009-2010 season? Sure. Uh, we will be starting off uh, our uh, season uh, with Sibelius's second symphony, which is a Finnish composer. Uh, it's, it's his longest symphony. It's his largest symphonic work, so I'm very excited to be a uh, presenting it in the Inland Empire. I think, to my knowledge, uh, it's very seldom played here, so it's something that our audiences will have a chance to hear and to experience. Uh, also um, featured in our season uh, will be uh, uh, Schumann's Fourth Symphony. We've done, in the past, his first two symphonies, and we had such a wonderful uh, reaction from the audience that we, that we decided to uh, program his Fourth Symphony um, next, next uh, uh, season, which is, a which is a final symphony. Many, many uh, music scholars view it as his greatest symphony, so, so it's something that, uh, mm. that is really fantastic. Uh, and uh, we will end our uh, season with uh, a special um, concert which, uh, which celebrates America and uh, with uh, in the Inland Empire premiere of uh, Iron Copeland's Third Symphony, so a very varied symphony indeed. Oh, wow, great. And we can all go to the website and check this out? You can, you can check the website on uh, www.sanbernardinosymphony.org and, and, and all the specific information is on the website. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And you've been watching A Minute With? Well, that's all we have for now. I'm Ann Batson. And I'm Darren Johnson. Join us next time for more local stories that matter. are its faculty and staff, and ours excel. In our College of Arts and Letters, we launched an Asian Studies minor, thanks to a large grant from the U.S. Department of Education. And our Arabic Language and Culture program, offered by the Department of World Languages and Literatures, received $400,000 in Federal Strategic Language Initiative funding. More isn't just good, more is great. That's why Charter is bringing you more high-definition channels, giving you more great choices than ever before. More sports, movies, kids shows, news programs, all your favorites with a picture that's five times sharper and with Dolby Digital 5.1 sound. Great new HD channels from Charter and more HD channels coming soon. What more could you ask for? To get more great Charter high-definition channels like these for only a few bucks more a month, call 1-877-SAVE-190 today.